you know, it's sometimes in, in uh, kind of, in general, we tend to think, well, if we're, we're going to go to the Don Kien, well, the Don Kien's down in this area. But what this is telling me is we really only want to let it drop down so it actually sets a little bit higher than that, at least in my feeling. When I, when I over the years, is, to me it sets, but it sets more in, in the middle Don Kien, really, which to me is more where the heart mind is. It's right in here. Because uh, if you go back and you, and I think a Chinese-speaking person might disagree with me, but hey, uh, when you say, when we say mind, that's like saying brain, it's all up here. But when you say yi, which is heart mind, that, that's down in here. So that reverberates, yi, reverberates from down here and comes up rather than from here going down. So I, I think this is a way your this first line is telling you really to get in touch with the heart mind down in here. Yeah, and I would just like to add one thing too, Jordan, is that uh, because of Chinese script, it's visual in nature with the interpretation, so that for the literal translations into English, there are some uh, characters that are extremely difficult to um, uh, convey to us in the West here in the English language. Right. And so it would, like the way I would liken that to is uh, we hear a funny joke, and our emotion is laughter, and our that laughter is individual to each person and the depth of what that laughter may be. However, the emotion and the feeling is still the same. Right. It's individual to the self. So that when you uh, interpret or uh, get a reference point for what these characters mean, uh -huh. they'll transcend the words. They'll actually sort of transcend the words. Uh, where you'll go, I, I had this feeling or I had this experience but it's sort of beyond words. Right. But you need words to get the reference point, to have the, uh, uh, have the experience, to understand or know words for the experience afterwards. Right. It sort of goes beyond the words. Yeah. So when you our mind, I've, I've sort of had that experience, so I know that there's really no words for it. Right. Right. Yeah, it's very difficult to put into a, a linear concept or... Um, to intellectually think about. Exactly right. 100% correct. <laughs> so. one, one last question. The uh, the last stance where it says ye night, is that Y-Z or Y-E? Uh, ye night, uh, you know, I don't know. Okay. Because I, I thought ye was mine. Yeah, this is spelled different. This is that's spelled ye y e, and the deal okay. ye mind is y i. Oh, okay. In ours, I believe. And even then, it it's like um, the ye or the shin. Um, I want to say ye. Um, this, uh, maybe that's not the concept I'm thinking. There, there was a concept, it might have been Yi. Sifu says there is, there is whole thesis, doctoral thesis, and you name it, written on the Yi. But uh, to connect with the Yi is almost at a point between awake and asleep. So when you're, you're, you're kind of looking for the Yi, it's kind of in that twilight zone. Um, and, and after I've said that, I'll probably go back and think about it and remember it was actually a different thing we're talking about, but hey, uh, you know. It's in the ether. It's in the ether somewhere. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's how I would describe it. Yeah. Well, it's in the ether. Yeah. It's, it's a good description. Yeah. So, I, I, it seems like, because we've spent some time with him talking about it, of course, with him, he just shows you, you know. It's like at a, a, a workshop he did one time in California, and one of the guys
guys there, Tim Muscovitz, and uh, Tim's, you know, big guy. Uh, he was a national push hands champion, and Tim was asking him about the E, and uh, see if he was pretty, pretty. Uh, well, you know, I've been working on that. I'm not there yet, but. Uh, he said to Tim, he says, go ahead and attack me. And so Tim started to move, and all of a sudden the only thing moving in Tim was his eyeballs. And they were just going bing, 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 bing. And it was, it was just hilarious because Tim just stood there. And, and Sifu said, you can't move, can you? And, and he said, no. And, and what Sifu says, that's because I just dropped the ye on you. And it's like a... Uh, cloud or a blanket that descends down on top of you. But it was it was just so funny because I mean Tim couldn't move. And and he's not Tim's not a very susceptible guy to things, you know. Uh, so that's one of the demonstrations I've seen with seafood using you. Anyway. Good deal. Any other questions on this? Um, seafood. Yeah. I, 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 look, when I see the poem, I see a, 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 a guideline to, to understanding where, you at, where you're at in your standing. You know, you should be able to look at this and see just about where you're at in your standing and where you need to get to. Yeah. Because I can relate with everything that's going on with this as a feeling. Uh-huh. You know, so that's, that's what I see in the poem. I see stages Yeah, that's right. true. Yeah, I would say you're right. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you do. You have both. Right. Right. Well, and that's why I shared it with everyone, just to make sure. Yeah. I mean, in the past, I've shared it, but not. I thought this would be a great platform to do it in because I could bring it up, we all could see it, and, and yeah, make sure you. Thanks very much for sharing this. Yeah, you yeah. bet. You know, the only thing I say is I, I think I'm the only one that has this. <laughs> wow. So I, not that I, you know, I don't know who has what, who see who's given what to, but. Uh, you know, he didn't say don't share it, but he didn't say share it with the world either. So, but I share it with you guys for your for your use. Appreciate that. Yep. Uh, good. Well, well, I'll take it off the screen. And we'll kick over here to speaker view. And. Hey, Steve. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> so, any questions about anything we covered last week? Everybody good? All right. I'm just going to... Oh, there's Magdalena. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'll let her and then I'm going to mute everybody. Well, I've got the screen, and uh, whoops, I lost it. Well, Tony, you're you're there. You go. Okay, I got it. I get everybody muted. I think so. Um, so you know, you should be able to press your space bar. Uh, I don't have the chat window up, so if you send a chat, I won't see it. Um, if you have a question, just try pressing the space bar and see if it works. I've had some people say they press it and it doesn't work, but, uh, you know, I don't know. Okay, so, no questions about what we did last week? Let's, let's start with the standing, and let's see if we can apply some of what we just discussed. So we're going to start with the head suspended. 
outside of the feet parallel. Relax. Try and allow the head to just go up. Then we're going to unlock the knees, but try not to let the head drop. So the spine stretches. And we're going to open the shoulders. Now, when you, when you open, try and open from the center out. So try and feel as if the ball grows from the center interacts with the elbows and the shoulders. You can also put a ball between the knees at the same time. Allow that ball to expand a little bit because you want the weight even across the feet. You don't want the weight on the outside or the inside. You want it even. Focused in the bubbling well behind the ball of the foot. ball between the knees is good. If, if you're a little knock kneed, you inflate the ball until it opens. If you're a little bow legged, then you have to squeeze the ball. Now take a deep breath. As we exhale, allow the wrist to come forward. Together. Inhale up, exhale and open. Now you want to try and look for the spots in the body where there's tension. Here's a good time also to swallow. Feel the swallow drop. Follow it down. Eyes level straight ahead. The eyelids can be open all the way or half open. If you close the eyes, the, your eyeballs will drop towards the floor and you feel yourself come forward a little bit. So you want to keep it level. You want to focus on the feeling of the ball, holding it gently to the body. Now we'll take a deep breath. As we exhale, we'll allow the hands to roll this ball. And hold the ball up. So you have a little bit of a forward tilt.
another deep breath as we exhale. Move the hands to the sides. Exhale and push. Inhale and hold. Take another deep breath. As we exhale, let the hands come all the way. When you reach the top, try not to move. Just be very still. Allow the chi to sink. Take a deep breath. As you exhale, allow the elbows to sink, bring the palms facing. Inhale and stretch. Exhale. 
exhale and squeeze. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Palms down. Inhale up. And exhale down. Up. And down. Up. And down. to the sides, gently shake the fingers, shake the body on the heels a little, rotate, 